It all started going wrong when I stepped out of that oblivion gate. I thought that that was one of the peaks of my life. Sure, maybe I didn't have as many companions as I used to, but I just fought through an oblivion gate on my own except for Didi and survived. I was on top of the world. I was ready to collect my mage's staff, start moving up within the ranks. I thought there was nothing I couldn't do. It was a pleasant dream. But when I awoke, I awoke here, in a place I could never remember having been. And I woke up nearly dead. Apparently, I'd been lying here for, who knows, hours? Days? I remember the chills and the terrible fever that completely ravaged me. And I do mean ravaged. I, uh, I did some odd things in my sleep, apparently, including cut all my hair off. But I was thin, gaunt, a shadow of the strength that I had once had. And that reflected in a lot of ways. I, well, I'd forgotten a lot of things. I didn't feel as smart anymore. Sure, I hadn't forgotten everything. I could still brew some potions, cast some spells, but I'd forgotten a lot. I could no longer remember how to summon Didi, even if I had had the strength to control her. My spells had been reduced to a shadow of their former glory, as well as I. And the worst part is, somebody rolled me in my sleep. I didn't have a darn thing left to my name. Except the Amulet of Kings. And when I discovered that, that's when I really began to worry. Why would I have the Amulet of Kings? I'd given it back to Martin, and all should have been right with the world. I decided I would go home to find some answers. I thought maybe I'd ask how Earthor had been doing during this time, see if I'd missed anything. The guild felt like the guild hadn't changed. But people treated me a little different. Who are you? Well, who cares? I'm Fuya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your serendipity? Even Druya didn't know me. Adriana can make you a member of the guild if you can convince her to take her nose out of whatever book she's reading. That scared me. I had all the status in the guild. I thought for sure that people would know me, recognize me, even my reduced state. What? I'm rather busy right now. Oh, is this about joining the Mages Guild? I suppose I could spare the time if necessary. But something had gone horribly wrong. People acted like I'd never even been in the Mages Guild. And heaven forbid should I try to take supplies to help me out. It was so confusing, I decided to go home and rest. Maybe with some more sleep, everything would be back to normal. That was my last hope. I, I was a little too busy to, to answer to ramblings. But I wasn't. I knocked on the door until my fists were bloody, but they wouldn't let me in. It was no longer my home. A lot of things had changed. 
I remembered my adventures. I remembered them very well, but I could no longer remember where those adventures had taken place. Except for one place. Kavach. I know they would knew me in, know me in Kavach. After all, I was the hero of Kavach. I'd save the day. I'd close the Grand Oblivion Gate. But... It seemed... That I hadn't. After all. No one knew me. Everything I had was Stop lost. That, Even this people were no just completely Get rude to me. I didn't know what to do. But I knew that somehow, some way, I had to piece my life back together. So I started with the basics. I asked around the Mages Guild, and sure enough, it was as if I'd never rescued Earthwar. So that's where I'm going. I'm going back to the Bleak Flats Cave. I'm gonna go in there, me and Scampy. I wish I could say whether Scampy remembers me, but it's hard to tell with Scampy, but... I'm going to ask Earthwar if he remembers anything. And if he doesn't, well... I guess I just go on. Put things back together. Reclaim what is rightfully mine. And find out what the hell happened to me after I came out of that Oblivion Gate. It's going to be a long struggle. I don't know when I can return to you, Degenerates. But make no mistake. Supergen will be 